name is Edith Lee Payne, and I'm just returning from a great opportunity to, to be a part of history again from Cincinnati, Ohio, listening to um, the legal team of Herbert Sanders, Julie Horowitz, and John Philo as they argued before the uh, Sixth Circuit Court uh, of Appeals in Cincinnati on the controversial, unconstitutional um, emergency manager law, PA 436. <clears throat> this was important today. I mean, every aspect of, of the struggle in uh, reversing this law uh, is important. Um, I'm a part of it because it's affected me personally uh, with Detroit having experienced bankruptcy that it really shouldn't have happened that shouldn't have happened. Um, the adversity that's happened in the Detroit public school system, and all of this is because of the state control um, under this law and the appointment of an emergency manager over our elected um, school board and, and, and members of the municipality, the mayor and the city council. Um, I was glad to be there to be a part of the struggles with other municipalities like Pontiac and um, I think someone was there from Benton Harbor, uh, but especially with Flint. People in Flint, as most people know, have been seriously affected because of the, the switch of the water, um, and that was done at the hands of the emergency manager. So this is an, an important day. We need, however, to have many, many more people involved because even though you may not see this being something that directly affects you, it does directly affect you, even if it's indirectly. Um, so, where I see things going from here, or what needs to happen next, is we need to remain vigilant. We need to get more people involved. My takeaway from this is, this is just another stop on the journey of having this law overturned. And, uh, and that will happen even if it goes to the United States Supreme Court. Um, it passed only because it was led, it, it was supported by a Republican controlled House and Senate and signed by a Republican governor. This is the second phase, actually the third phase of, of the slot. It started with PA 10, Public Act 10, which was the emergency financial manager. Then it went to Public Act 72, which was also an emergency financial manager where that person had it, the emergency manager, emergency financial manager had responsibility for just the financial aspects of the municipality or the school district. Because that EFM believed that he or she could not effectively manage uh, that entity, school district or municipality, only in its finances and needed complete control, then Public Act 4 was drafted and passed making that EFM and EM so they could have total control. Again, the problem accelerated because that person then repl replaced people that the electorates had voted for, as well as the ability, if we didn't like that elected person, they could uh, be voted out or we could have them recalled. We have none of those recourses now. Only. We're only stuck with someone that we have no voice in and having them be be there. That's not what the Constitution says. That's not how government is supposed to be run. So, but I'm encouraged even though um, it's still here and it's been here for four years, um, four or five years, I'm encouraged that it's gonna change because things have changed in our history that adversely affected us. And this will just be another thing that will change as, especially as we get more people involved in this struggle.